uh, restaurant point of sales uh, web versions using sp.net and sql server so today our presentation uh, is uh, just a preview preview in our latest uh, about our latest software restaurant uh, point of sales so let's go how to make a uh, new sales so here is a table design so first uh, you have to select a table and add a new item this is extra sauce item extra item extra options you can increase decrease the quantity this one has no does not have any extra options because it's a ready-made bottle now press uh, payment options you can change uh, table design if you want to change it uh, table selected table if you want to change a table and here is a um, shortcut uh, button now our uh, total payable amount is nine dollar so press ten dollar and you can also put uh, discount how much discount So now I don't want to receive any discount. So this is exact amount. If you pay with a card, you just put exact amount cash, just put cash amount and press payment button. So here we have three types of two format of receipt, one ticket. Uh, this one for uh, 3.14 inch paper size is 80 millimeters and uh, this one small post printer 58 millimeters uh, so it's same data just uh, you which one uh, suitable for a printer you just uh, press printer and it's automatically print uh, and uh, here is a ticket for one for customer one other for waiter and back button and it's ready for new order and you can take a return uh, when finish it automatically goes to kitchen display kitchen display only display those items you remember last time we order this on our uh, last uh, order so but he, we order three item coca-cola bottle but coca-cola bottle is not for kitchen paper items so it's now only display two items because tea and a uh, mcjunior uh so hoin is ready just press and it's an uh, it's automatically goes to uh, server table and you can short uh, uh, kitchen display by location so those are web or i'll show later on the uh, no uh, now i can show that this is website uh, this is website customer can also order from website so just select your so just uh, select your items and select your item with extra source option is same and press check out if you log in to system now i'm logging so it's a 
it's coming your all information uh, and then after fill up all address just press this one if this order goes to your home delivery but this system also can uh, uh, use uh, to order in-house customer can order using monitor so in that case customer has to press this one so now this item taken for our uh, home delivery and it's uh, print the creating one invoice and then customer can print or doesn't uh, require to print all time and later customer can view their order so it's uh, 1007 so this is the details and it's uh, include uh, shipping cost but uh, now in customer uh, using this system in house customer can take order using this system I'll show you one option here so this order for in house so in that case no shipping cost apply and let's uh, go to item here you can easily add item uh, you can add a category you can uh, upload bulk item uh, from excel sheet uh, you can add uh, Bander category and you can also purchase inventory those inventory it's um, required uh, for when you create one item and then you can add inventory or ingredients for example this is a pizza uh, so it's need uh, chicken and beef whatever first you have to add in, in, in ingredients and it just put uh, how much uh, ingredients uh, uh, use for this item so and then after when you sold this menu item it's automatically reduce those quantity from your stock so it's very easy and simple and here it's displaying very low item very uh, low item and expired item and you can also export using uh, to Excel uh, here is uh, manage how to manage a user and you, you can create a admin user and also you can give access privilege space privilege then uh, those user can access only those page and and a report is very smart report is a detailed displays with uh, profit and a uh, bad uh, total subtotal how many quantity even you can filter by location you can filter by web order how many web how many order from web you can filter by date uh, you can filter by invoice number and here is another extra uh, report for web order and then later you can print when it goes to delivery you can print this uh, invoice with your product and here general ledger how many sell how many return uh, and you can view chart a report uh, and another option is a due list so we have a two due list mainly those two items taken from web or so you can take a um, uh, due order due amount later multiple amount you can multiple transaction you can um, this for example this one uh, $30 now I am taking only $34 but now I am only today 
taking uh, $20 so it's uh, still $14 left and here is the $20 and you can create a customer you can create a bander and you can create the terminal unlimited terminal um, table table uh, with the background color so the, when you select this color uh, it's, 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 it, it will be display here and those are background color this one here is the white so this are background color and and you can reset a transaction to start a new oh, system and uh, this uh, is um, settings so this one apply those that apply in uh, this actually this bad and shipping cost apply on the web uh, for the web order uh, and and uh, when customer taking one order it's automatically sending emails so in that case you have to enable and a customer just fill up those emails set up email and select yes and then customer when order finish customer will receive one email from this system Customer can create a new account if they have existing account. They're gonna log in from here. Uh, forget password. then when customer create one uh, new item they can uh, dynamically add uh, extra options and, uh, so it's not uh, those extra option is not uh, same for all item so here is look uh, uh, this one uh, extra item and on the other hand this one's uh, no extra items so it's uh, depend on your uh, dish your product uh, what kind of product you sell so is product base uh, extra item you can product base extra item you can add just you have to put just a comma and it's uh, uh, and here is the manufacturing date expired date but it's not mandatory and uh, item discount when you're creating a terminal you can set the terminal base a bad rate if you don't have bad just code as zero uh, and a terminal base uh, kitchen display so thank you for watching our video next video uh, will uh, discuss the total overall user manual thank you